So, uh, these were the sediments of Victor Wombanyama for a couple of months. Will Victor be great at some point? I don't know the answer to that. I mean, he's gonna be playing against grown men. Do you think he makes a splash in this league like, like LeBron did? I mean, it's a wait and see game. I, I don't know. I think we all gonna have a it few... it, Yeah, it's all speculation. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna be great for three years. Now, let's fast forward a bit to the NBA 2024 season. Gonna gap him just a little bit right. and just try to move my feet. He shouldn't have the quickness advantage. In this. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Wambanyama was hyped up to be the number one prospect in NBA history. That's some pretty big shoes to fill, considering he has to compete with the likes of LeBron James, who up until this point was the most hyped up prospect ever and who has actually lived up to the hype. Well, I'm here to say today that in the short amount of time that we've seen Wambanyama so far, he's not only lived up to the hype that has surrounded him for the past year or so, but has already far exceeded it. So far, what we've seen from Wambanyama has been nothing short of jaw-dropping. I mean, just look at this play here in transition, where Wambanyama catches the ball in transition, then does a Euro step from the three-point line all the way to the basket for not a lay-in, but a dunk. Tell me, that is not a cheat code. Or this dunk here where he dunked the ball ferociously from outside the restricted area. You know, I've never actually watched Wilt Chamberlain play before, but this is how I imagined it was for the poor souls who had to play against him in the 60s. One last play here. Check it out. Andrew Wiggins is capable of being a prime-time bucket getter who can go off for 30-ish points on any given night. But Wambanyama shuts him down here like I've never seen him get shut down before. Then, not only that, but he followed up that play by running the floor and drilling a three-point bucket. You know, in that game against the Warriors, Wambanyama went on a 90-second rampage to the likes that I've never seen before, and uh, he even deflated Steph Curry's enthusiasm for the game. If it wasn't clear enough before, it's clear now. Wambanyama is the real deal. He really is. I mean, at 19 years old, he's already shown the capability of becoming the Defensive Player of the Year, which has never been done before at his age. Like, in just 21 minutes against the Warriors, the dude recorded five blocks. And, uh, just take a look at this image where he blocked Andrew Wiggins. Look at it. Is that not the most outrageous thing you've ever seen in your life? Look at how high his arm gets from Wiggins, who already stands 6'7". Sheesh, guys. If that picture ain't a message to the rest of the NBA of what's to come, then I don't know what is. For 2024, he could very well average 5, 6, or 7 blocks throughout the year on 30 to 35 minutes per game. And if he does, then he could very well be the first rookie in NBA history to win the DPOY trophy. Then, uh, to make things even scarier for the rest of the league is the fact that Wambanyama is doing this as a rookie. Yeah, guys, Wambanyama is just a 19-year-old kid right now who isn't even legal to have a drink yet in the United States but he's already been able to leave the NBA speechless with what he's done. Which brings me to the all-important question. Just how much better can he get? Honestly, let's ask ourselves, just how much better can he get? And uh, only time will actually tell how much better he can get, but to sort of get an idea of his trajectory... I've taken the liberty of finding three other unicorns and how much better they've gotten over the first couple of years in the league. So, uh, here it is. Giannis, the Greek freak, 
went from 7 points and 4 rebounds in his rookie year to 28 points and 12.5 rebounds in year 6. Nikola Jokic, the Joker, went from 10 points and 7 rebounds in his rookie year to 26 points and 11 rebounds in year 6. Joel Embiid, the process, went from 20 points and 8 rebounds in his rookie year to 31 points and 12 rebounds in year 6. Needless to say, all three of these perennial MVP caliber players have gone through a complete transformation over the course of their careers in the league, and I see Wombanyama doing something similar. But uh, one big difference between Wemby and these guys is that Wemby already looks like a beast on the floor, whereas these guys started off a bit more raw and underdeveloped. So I can't even begin to fathom what he's going to look like once he develops into his prime. I mean, he's already blocking shots from players like Klay Thompson. He's already bulldozing unicorns like Chet Holgren. And he's already putting on moves as if he's Uncle Drew himself. Anyway, next question. In a couple of years, how many points and rebounds do you think he could average in a year? 40 points? 20 rebounds? You know, that wasn't really a joke. But jokes aside, if there was ever anyone who could get close to or topple Wilt Chamberlain's record of 50 points and 25 rebounds per game for a season, it'll probably be Wambanyama. Yeah. Now, some people may think that's crazy, but the truth is, previous NBA records that have been thought to be impossible to break are now being broken. Like Ray Allen's three-point record, which was broken by Steph Curry, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring record, which was recently broken by LeBron James. Man, guys, if Wambanyama could really break some of Wilt's unbreakable records, including that 100-point game, then uh, we're going to be in for a treat. What's funny is that, after seeing what Victor Wambanyama has been capable of so far, some teams are already preparing for him in practice. Like in this video here, where a trainer could be heard yelling, Wemby, Wemby, as he went out to defend Kyrie Irving with his artificial Wemby length. But anyway, remember how I showed you what people were saying about Wemby before his recent onslaughts? Well, here's some of the sediments they have on him now. Right now, today, Wemby is one of the top five skilled players in the NBA. I said it right now. Then, uh, not too long after Paul Pierce had to say what he said, Kevin Garnett said this. Listen. The Spurs should make the playoff. Now that would be something. Considering how completely loaded the West is at the moment, if Wambanyama can get the Spurs into the playoffs, which isn't completely unreasonable, then that would be just crazy. I don't think it's too early at this point to say that the Spurs dynasty is going to make a comeback. You know, on a lighter note, Steve Kerr, the head coach of the Warriors, recently remarked that Greg Popovich looks rejuvenated after getting Wambanyama, and here's what the Spurs' legendary coach had to say about that comment. Steve said that uh, he saw that you've kind of been rejuvenated after this summer, obviously, for the big draft. Well, let me just, what was I being rejuvenated from? Was I, was I in a mental institution, or was I, was I uh, depressed and curled up in my bedroom or something? I don't know. Steve said it. He knows you better than that. Steve's an asshole. I agree. <laughs> you know the NBA is doing well when Greg Popovich is smirking like that. 